Hello, my Fierce Art family. I am super excited because today we are celebrating the first month of my art YouTube channel, The Fierce Arts. And as promised, I am going to give you a treat since the first ever video that I have uploaded is my watercolor collection and it's getting a lot of love. So thank you everybody. I gained almost 400 subscribers in one month and I'm just so thankful to each and every one of you. You are so kind. All your comments, I read them all and I reply to every one of you because I feel like through art, through my YouTube channel, I get to meet friends art friends around the world. So today I am going to share with you your much awaited, most requested watercolor brush collection. So here they are. And there's just a lot here. You see here, Escoda brushes. And I have quite a lot more. These are the brushes that I started with. We're also going to talk about a collective haul of Princeton brushes that I am really trying to collect anyway. A lot of them I still haven't used, so we're going to talk about that. And then I have some more Princeton brushes over here. Travel brushes from different brands. We have Raphael, another Escoda. We have my favorite, the Tintoretto brushes right here. We will talk about those as well. Some more Raphael brushes. Travel brushes still. Two more travel brushes. And then the Da Vinci Castaneo. Oh. A huge haul from Roman Schmall and the Restauro house that they also carry. Mm. Even some travel watercolor brushes over here. And the most recent one that you see, Renaissance Brushes. So without further ado, let's get the party started. Hi, my name is Elizabeth and if you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, Thank you very much and welcome back. To give you a little bit of a background, I have another YouTube channel. It's completely different. It's about lifestyle. It's about makeup mostly, bags, you know, those girl stuff. So I am a collector of nice things. <laughs> and I have a huge collection of makeup brushes as well, which is no wonder I love to collect watercolor brushes also, but I did not start right away on the nice luxurious ones. I started with the beginner set. So I was given this ones, and this is Campus by Raphael, which were gifted to me together with some other watercolor materials on my birthday a few years ago, together with Daniel Smith watercolors, which I have mentioned on one of my YouTube videos, one of the art hauls. So these were the first ones that I have, quite big. <laughs> but yeah, I was um, painting a little bit more loose and I was like, hmm, I wanted more details on my painting. So I think, yeah, I think I bought this myself because I feel like, hmm, I'm gonna need more brushes. So I added this one. If I'm not mistaken, this one was still called like the XL. And this could be the, I am not sure if I bought this as a set or individually. I forgot already, but those were my first watercolor brushes. And then I was like, hmm, I need more. I went to an art store and I was not ready to spend a lot of money yet on brushes. I found this one and I was like, hmm, those are cute. That's, that's a nice color. And it says Da Vinci. And I was already researching a little bit about watercolor brush brands and I saw Da Vinci. It was, it has a very good reviews, highly recommended. So I was like, hmm, I'm gonna try this once. This is their like beginner sets, entry level sets, student or, um, watercolor brushes. <laughs> it was super lightweight and I like the, this, uh, this handle. So yeah, I still use this sometimes as a backup. But you will see my favorites as the video goes. This one right here is something that I bought recently on my trip to the United States this it's year. from Miami, Florida on a Hobby Lobby in there. Okay, so this is an entire set. 
I did a video unboxing this and then showing them one by one, like uh, just a shorts or a real style. I will be uploading that very soon. I have tested some of them. So I bought the set mostly for the fan brushes, but we have like a dagger in there and some rigger to do some lines. And then we have a flat one right here. So yeah, I, I tried the, the ones for... Um, for some trees where I use the fan brushes. I'm not super happy, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to use it a little bit more, maybe just as a backup of something not super detailed. If I wanted to just like make a little bit more uh, texture, then I think I could use this one when it's not, when it's a little bit of like a loose painting. I don't really need like precise detail. Then this can come handy. This is not expensive at all. It's like very affordable in Hobby Lobby. It's called the Fine Touch. And then I saw this one on Amazon, Amazon Sweden. So it's an entire set of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen brushes that is advertised that it could be used for everything: watercolor, acrylic and oil but i when i got it i feel like hmm i think this would work more for acrylics and oil so perhaps yeah that's how i'm gonna use it and um i'm not doing so much acrylic and oil paintings at the moment so th that's why as you see they're still on plastic oh i just realized that it's like black handle and a little bit pearlized in there and it has numbers right here i think it's pretty decent quality but it's like a little this ferrule part is a little bit shaky so not the most sturdy but good as a as a backup when we paint oil and acrylic um it's a little uh, difficult to keep them pristine unlike watercolors because i'm the type of person that i wanted my stuff to be pristine if you notice like when i show my collection they're still in the boxes they're quite clean because that's the kind of artist i am there's different types of artists we have the artist that is like um it's okay they don't mind like having everything uh looking nice and brand new all the time but me i feel like i can concentrate more and i get more inspired if they're like all nice and clean and looks brand new even though i really do use them i'm just like i'm just the kind of person who's careful on my stuff <laughs> so those are my beginner brushes could be also called a student grade watercolor brushes remember these two brushes from my recent art haul video the art haul from poland which features my Renaissance watercolor art haul. These are the two brushes that I got from Shal Art in Krakow, Poland. This Renaissance 3020 mop, number zero, and then the Renaissance 1208 in number eight. So I used this brush today because I filmed a swatch video of the palette that I also bought from that haul. So it will be uploaded, if not tomorrow, the other day. Um, so I swatched this watercolor set. Here's a sneak peek. <laughs> but there's more. There's more than just that swatch. So yeah, I find that this brush is quite fun to use. Let's proceed <laughs> to the other brand. Another art material brand from Poland. One of my favorites, Roman Schmal. So I have several brushes right here. Two of them I acquired last year, August 2022, and then the rest I acquired when I recently went there last month, August 2023. So most recent brush that I have used that you have seen on my one of my recent uploads wherein I swatched this Aquarius Violet and then compared it with other interesting colors from the Roman Schmal brand. And yeah, I used this one, Black Pearl roman schmal and i let you know my thoughts about this brush on that video as well the very first brushes that i got from last year are these two this restauro house roman schmal carries this brand and then on their catalogs they have this one too so i don't know if it's a sister company or are these 
the company that makes their brushes for Roman Schmoll. But yeah, even in Jackson's art, under Roman Schmoll brushes, there are some restoral house right there. So I have used this brush when I made a painting for my friend, which I left with him, um, with Viswav and his house in Krakow, Poland. This is the restoral house 885, number 12. And it's a synthetic brush. Another brush that I got from last year is this one. I haven't used this one. This is so pretty. But of course, I will be using all of them. So I'll be able to review them. This one just says Roman Schmoll. But when I get to a video only featuring Roman Schmoll brushes, I will be in depth with them. But you know, um, the handles, the brushes, the bristles, rather, yeah, everything about them. So I asked Roman Schmoll himself, which brushes does he recommend? And he have some personal recommendations and that's this three right here. I have this Roman Schmoll Synthetic Squirrel on their 113 line or the 113 line. I got the XX large and then the small version. Those two are from the same collection. And then this one that just says Roman Schmoll in the 911 line. And I got the number six. And then I got these two brushes because I just wanted to have two big brushes for when I try to paint a little bit bigger, but more of like a loose painting, trying out the techniques of some master painters, following landscape tutorials using huge paper. Then I wanted to have that one. So I have the gold pearl on size 24 and then the silver pearl on size 24 as well. Remember this one? That's the black pearl. And yeah, this this one, I just wanted another mop that's bigger and um, yeah, for, for some wash. And that's the Restoro House 110 in size number 10. So th those are my two, four, six, eight, nine. Other one I put on a separate pile because it's another category wherein it's a travel brush. But I'm going to show you a sneak peek over here anyway. So in total, I have... 10 Roman Schmoll watercolor brushes. So there you have it, everybody. This is the part one of my brush collection video for my first month in YouTube. But I decided to make it two parts. So I will film a part two instead featuring the Escoda brushes, the travel brushes, and also my Princeton brushes on the next video so it will not be super long and we will have much more information and thank you so much for watching this video let me know your thoughts on the comment section down below and see you on the part two and all of my future videos